In my last video, I discussed fear, investor fear, retiree fear, when something happens in the market and they're not quite sure why, they're afraid of losing control, afraid of losing all their money, it kind of freaks them out. And as most of us do realize that fear can lead to bad behavior because you're not being rational. So today I thought I'd look at it from the other side or show you what we look at from the other side. So when something does happen, how do we react? So let's just take a, a, a scenario where the newscaster comes on and all you hear is that the Dow dropped 400 points today, but you don't really know what the Dow is or you don't even know if you have money in those 30 companies in the Dow. But it sounds really scary and really impressive, keeping in mind that they're paid to sell advertising time, so they want, you know, they're vying for your attention. But what, what happens when we are looking at that? The same scenario, and I think uh, one good example would have been uh, the March coming out of 2020, the pandemic, you know, when the market dropped, actually one of the, the steepest, fastest drops in the history of the S&P 500, to use that as a measurement. So what investors see and hear is just total freak out, total panic. Everything's dropping. They're going to lose all their money. Um, but what we see, we first thing we look at is we see the longer picture. So when I see a drop, I'm putting that into perspective of what does that really mean for the life of an investor or for the lifestyle of a retiree? And what we really do then is look at a more granular level. In other words, why? Why did something happen? Uh, and we can measure a variety of different things to give us a little bit better sense of, is this something that we do need to be concerned about? Is it a trend that's heading the wrong way? Do we need to react or do we need to be proactive by getting our people not to react. So some examples, and this isn't all inclusive, but some examples would be, you know, where are we with interest rates? Has the Federal Reserve um, commented or are they changing their policy? Um, inflation levels, are they out of control? What about companies' earnings reports? Um, are people still spending? Are governments still spending? That, those, that drives the wheels of the economy, for instance. Manufacturers' expectations, what are they looking for to the future? Are they feeling pretty good? What about domestic disruptions? And that could be global trade, um, could be uh, military situations, it could be pandemics. And unemployment levels, are people actually, enough people working so that they can buy stuff, so that people can make stuff? And again, the economic wheels keep turning. So bottom line for all of this is when things happen, it's, it's good to know, it's good to understand, it's good to be aware, but it's also good to realize why they happened and what the immediate and long-term impacts might be. Obviously, we can't predict the future, but hopefully with a little education and behavior modification, we can prevent some kind of a disaster based on bad behavior.